Alright, so this is the nursing. Okay, I'm in my car and I just want to show you guys what I brought for lunch because I don't think I got a clip of, hold on, y'all are like blurry, I think. I don't think, I, um, okay. I don't think I got a clip of what I packed, so I'm just going to show y'all. I need to get like a, um, a specific lunch container, like to keep my stuff either warm, cold, whatever. I saw it on, um... Amazon and um, I have it with like a few other things that's in my cart that I need to get but I was waiting to purchase because like with the other things that I'm getting because I want to see what y'all know in a second after I go in um, go back into the building what all comes in the kit so I don't just buy unnecessary stuff because I was gonna buy like a stethoscope scissors pen lights but we get that I mean that's what I was told so I don't know so I'm gonna wait and see that and then I'll get what I need so I just have like I put like my little purse stuff in this little like bag so it has like my wallet and stuff like that in here to put lip gloss that kind of stuff to put in my big long champ bag which is here it's like where all my stuff laptop and all that and my lunch and so i got like these my grandfather made like these homemade potato chips and they taste so freaking good i made hold on let me turn it around some crackers i have a breakfast bar these are like my favorite little breakfast bars i like the cinnamon brown sugar and the blueberry and then i made myself a salad it looks amazing it's very colorful today so it's just like an Italian romaine lettuce salad. I have some grapes on there, some tortilla strips, like salad strips, um, bacon bits, and yeah. And then this is my dressing. And that's all I brought for lunch. And then I have my, which I'm almost done with. Um, and then I've been drinking my matcha um, protein drink. And I'm, I killed it. Y'all can see it's literally nothing left in there. But yeah, so I'm eating right now while well, I'm about to eat my salad. I was mostly just drinking and snacking. And then I'm going to go back in here and hopefully get some clips for y'all. Right. about different things that we're going to do. New job. What's one of the first things that they ask you? Tell me about yourself. Tell me something about yourself. Right? And in that moment, they don't want you to just run down your resume, right? Because they already have that. That's why you're there having a conversation. But they want to get to know something about you, right? How are you going to be contributing to this workplace, to this space, to this organization, right? So many of you already shared like amazing things, interesting about yourself. What I would recommend, but I'm saying you want to give them something about what they're going to be getting as you, as an employee. Does that make sense, mm -hmm. right? Your family cares how much you love them, right? They care that you're making all these plans so that later on down the line you can be there for them. But the job, they're not gonna like your people, but <laughs> right then, okay? So I just want you to be thinking about something that really encompasses you. Is that a great example of having lost, right, over 100 pounds? Man, that speaks to perseverance. That speaks to uh, discipline. That speaks to setting a goal and meeting it, right? That speaks to wanting to better yourself, right? How much more are you going to be able to contribute to other people who are sick? I want to go over the syllabus just to make sure we're all on the same page about what to expect. How y'all doing today? Good. Good. All right. Just uh, part of the part of the here. 
so yeah that's what's going on so far y'all today i have uh so yesterday was my core class um uh, core 104 today is biology uh 114 uh, and i believe we are anatomy and physiology yeah anatomy physiology all in one so biology and the topics that are anatomy and physiology and um we are doing chapters one through four today so because that's what our quiz will be on on thursday so a lot of information today and hopefully i retain it i already jumped ahead and was studying last night so we're off to a good start and we're gonna keep trying to stay on this good path and i'm going to talk to you guys when i get to school and hopefully get more clips um I did get some clips yesterday just kind of showing you a little bit of what we were doing in class us walking through the school actually meeting other faculty members that we haven't met already like where their offices are if we need help and stuff like that so um, I'll try to get some clips today but today honestly is mostly lecture so it'll be more exciting when we go into lab but today's lecture so it's just gonna be a bunch of PowerPoints <laughs> so I'll show a little bit of that and yeah, because I'm definitely going to record my classes so that way I can just, at night, I'm not trying to remember everything that was talked about in class and then I can just go through the whole recording. Um, so, we'll see. Um, got something in my eyeball. Other than that, let's go over, let's go over the syllabus real quick. Your first quiz is on Thursday over what we talked about today, which I think I put that in the email. Any questions for me before we get started? No? Also, I like to ask a lot of questions and I like to have feedback and answering. Um, so the more that y'all kind of participate, the faster the class will go and the nicer it will be. I did not take off any minutes for today, unless you're just not here yet. There's a couple of people not here yet. Um, I give the first day as a little freebie. Well, I'll personally say thank you. <laughs> it's taken me a minute to get adjusted to the commute. And I, even though I give myself an hour, mm -hmm. Uh, I ran into three different tra traffic jams. That was us. It was really bad. So, yeah, yeah the, 15, it was like, if yeah, you live any bad. kind of distance away from here, um, you'll, you'll find real quick that the traffic can, it'll get you. Mm-hmm. And I will email this out today so that everybody will have a copy of this. Um, our lecture time typically, or I guess all Mondays are eight, to 1300, 0800 to 1300 to be a quiz too. So the first missed assessment, you will stay late after class. So class ends at 12 or one o'clock if it's on a Monday, you will stay right after and take it if you come in late and miss it. Cause we start our day off taking the quiz or the exam. While it, people are usually studying, I give you a few minutes to study and then we get right into the exam or quiz and then we get into lecture. Um, so if you miss it and you come in late, you'll stay after. No penalty for the first one. If I, <clears throat> the second one, if you miss it, you can stay and retake it, but you're, the highest you can score is an 80. So whatever you score, you will have essentially 20 points deducted off that score and that's what will be reported. So like if you scored 100, you're getting an 80 recorded. If you scored a 75, you're getting a 55 recorded. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. okay. And I, oh. Listen, nursing school is hard and strict. Don't play with it. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I don't even know what clips I actually got. Oh, the lighting is just, I don't even know what clips I actually got in class. It was going by so fast. Okay, lecture is intense <laughs> and it's like she's going through a powerpoint okay and you have to well i'm gonna just say the suggestions i have and the things that i've been told that works the best 
and I'm trying to get into some type of like rhythm like I'm trying to understand like how I need to be in lecture notes wise so I can study to where I retain the information and so what I'm finding worked best for me today is as she's going through the lecture because she's not really gonna stop I mean unless you just need something repeated but she's gonna get through this whole like 50 page or however many pages lecture in a matter of two hours or something like that explaining all these different things and tell you what's key in her PowerPoint and what you really need to pay attention to to study so what I found to do is to make notes and type in it instead of writing it down because you're not going to be able to keep up if you're trying to write it so an iPad is best when you can write it with the uh, Apple pen or your actual laptop I'm using the school laptop because I want everything in just one source so I just want to be able to go I made folders each class each subject each lecture for notes and I'm just gonna type I'm just gonna use my computer for everything because it's gonna be a lot easier than trying to just use an iPad although the iPad will help if you just need the extra you know like to make your flashcards or just make like the fun notes and stuff like that you know like write it really nice and stuff like that I probably will use my iPad too I don't know but for now what worked is writing down I mean typing as she's talking all the key factors so I can highlight in my notes what to study what's important when she says this is important and just go directly to that folder and print that out when I'm ready to study if that makes sense so that way I just have my actual study guide literally compressed out of this big packet lecture and I've compressed it to one or two pages of everything that I actually need to study for that particular test that's coming up if that makes sense so I was doing that and I was not falling behind I was able to keep up doing it that way and then what else I was doing was making so like in the system you can make a flash card like a digital flash card from our books um, on a particular uh, topic or paragraph or whatever so making flashcards so then all I have to do is just revert back to those flashcards or print those out and it's already made for me instead of trying to write them back out um, the only time I will do that is if I'm trying to just keep reiterating the information so I'll just keep writing it so I can remember it but I have all of my stuff done already basically because of the way that I took notes in class so like I don't have to go back and try to like read through all this rough draft of notes to try to write it to make it more legible um, and make it look better and it everything's all typed out and done and looks great I'll, I can print it out and just use that as my like study package so hopefully this method works for me but just so you know lecture is intense so you just got to keep going and figure out and then also recording the class that is the biggest one because it's gonna go fast and you're not gonna remember everything she talked about outside of the PowerPoint because yes yeah, she's gonna be reading from the PowerPoint but the teacher typically is gonna be saying so many other things tips um, ad-libs you know like just side sentences and statements and stuff like that or examples outside of her PowerPoint that you're not gonna have time to write down or remember right so just record the entire class so I just use the voice memo app on my phone and then also I use my camera for a little bit um, just as long as it's not like facing her um, but just to hear what she's saying so I have the entire class the parts that was the lecture um, that I could just play so I'm just gonna play it back and listen to everything that she's talking about on the topics that she said that I need to study and what's important and then we did a Kahoot. You guys remember the Kahoot from Esthetician School when um, I think it was in my vlog when I talk about how I learned in Esthetician School right before quiz was we did Kahoots. And Kahoots, it makes it, it's a fun way to learn, but it's so you know what you know and what to study. Um, and it's like a little game and the whole class participates in it and like only the teacher has like the, the questions on her screen and then all you have is the the um, shape or color and you just key in what you think it is um, and then you get points for like the ones you get right or you lose points for the ones you get wrong or um, and then it's by like how fast you're answering and you're going against your class so it'll say like the top 
five, top three, top whatever. And so, interesting enough, even though we just learned all this information just right now, she was like, you guys are gonna do so great because we did so good on a Kahoot. Like, everybody was getting a lot more answers right than we even thought about it. So, she was just like, for you to, got, for you to have just learned this now and you retain this at the end of the class that fast, um, you guys should get through this term pretty easy. So, I'm hoping. I can, I can tell it's just a, overwhelming. So, like, not only do we have to, we just finished chapter one, and we have to study for our test this Thursday, literally. We have a test. There's literally no time in nursing school. That's all I got to say, okay? So, I'm about to go. I got to get some more supplies from the store, and then I'll probably talk to you later because I'm so hungry, and I just need to... <sighs> I, I see that I'm gonna have to have a lot of like breathing sessions and decompression and me time and just an hour of no information, not saying nothing to nobody, not talking, not looking at something and then go back into what I need to do for the next day because I, you're not gonna have any time to even breathe.